Welcome to this video about the installation of Triton ERP system the easy way. What I have here is an OpenSUSE Leap system 15.4 Alpha. Leap is the long term support release of OpenSUSE and 15.4 is the fourth service pack to the 15.0 series. It gets refreshes of required components, it gets a more up-to-date kernel, it gets some newer libraries and so on. All this kind of maintenance that is needed within a long-term support release. I was inspired to this video by a video from the Triton community that was showing the installation of Triton via the Python installer pip, which I feel is a little bit complicated and more for the experts. One of the goals of the OpenSUSE community is to make life in Linux-based distributions easy. So I want to show you two ways to install Triton on OpenSUSE. Let's start with the first one. How do we get Triton for OpenSUSE? Actually, let's go to triton.org. Um, get Triton. And we go to the menu part, Distributions. And here we see all the distributions that support Triton with packages. One of them is OpenSUSE. We come here to a so-called repository. This is something like an app store for applications. And we see there are a couple of Triton versions packaged, mainly the long-term support versions. Let's go to Triton 6.0. And we see here there is a repository for 15.4. Hmm. So how do we get the repository data into the system? We call up Yast, which is the software management tool within OpenSUSE. I enter the password. And here I have various areas where I can adapt the system settings. I go to system repositories and I will add a repository. I will specify the URL and I call the repository Triton 6. And the URL to it is what we see here. I paste it into the line, click on next. I have to trust GNU PG key and I have my Triton 6 repository down here. Actually I give it a higher priority just to make sure that I get all the packages from there. OK. Now I go to Software Management. And I can search for Triton. And here I get all the Triton software and modules for version 6. So let's, for example, install Triton Sale and it automatically selects all the required modules for it. The other required programs. I would like to install the client as well, for example. So if I click Accept, the system installs all the required packages for it. That was version 1. Now let's go back in time, back to start, 
and I show you a different method. As announced in the beginning, there is of course another option to install Triton on OpenSUSE and this is OPI, the OBS package installer. OBS is, as we've seen before, the build system where the whole distribution and all packages for OpenSUSE are built. And OPI is a nice little program that makes it easy to search for packages on OBS and install them right from there. So let's log in as admin with SU and the password. And let's first of all install OPI. So having this installed, we can continue. OPI, Triton D, sale for example. So it searches the open build service for all patterns matching Triton D sale. And we're choosing option one for the basis module. And now it gives us a selection of repositories where this module is available from. So I choose the first one, Triton 6.0. It adds the repository. It asks me to confirm the key for the new repository. It updates everything. And what we see here is not only the package Triton D sale, but it resolves all dependencies automatically. So if I choose now enter, yes. Then it starts with the installation and I come back in a minute. Installation is now nearly finished. And finally it asks me whether I want to keep the repositories. Yes, I want. Now we have the server installed. To see something later on we would need to client as well. So zipper install Triton. And here as well, it's not just installing Triton, it's also selecting and installing all the dependencies for the Triton client. So that was pretty quick. We have the server installed and now we need to configure it. And as we try with an OpenSUSE to make it as easy as possible, for the user we have a small installation script and this is called OpenSUSE Triton D setup. If you invoke this then it just comes up with the various options it has. What we want to do is to set up a Triton server so it's OpenSUSE Triton D setup set up. First of all we need to enter the name for the new database. Proposal is Triton 6. Let's keep it. We need a password for the administrator. Proposal is admin. We keep it for the moment. Then we have a couple of parameters which we usually do not touch regarding the database user and the configuration file. Final question, should the Triton server start automatically? Yes, we want that. Now we can check once again our installation options and if we're happy with it, we say yes. And the installer starts the database, creates the necessary user and databases, and then it initializes the new database. Once the initialization of the database is complete, we need to enter an email address for the admin. Uh, I'll take my one at openzuse.org. So, and the last sentence you should really recognize, please review your setup before using the system in production. Of course, having 
the default access method to the Postgres database and standard or uh, default admin password is not something that we want to see in production. I leave it and I fire up my Triton front end. I add an entry for the local host. My host is the machine where it is running on. It finds a new database, Triton 6. The username is admin. And with these settings, I can now connect to the new database. The password was admin as well. And I'm instantly in the configuration dialog for a new Triton database. That was it. Installing Triton the easy way. Enjoy. And if you like the video, just leave a thumb up. Thank you.